I work with uh, Master Keys. This is John Albro and Reed Van Dries, and they're with uh, Ridley Blocks. Um, what I want to talk to you today a little bit about was uh, was blueprints, and uh, these guys will talk about these these blocks that are beside me. We are the distributor for for blocks for for, uh, for Ontario, so uh, that's why we're we're kind of doing this tag team this together. Uh, about two years ago, we uh, we launched a program here. So if anybody was here two years ago, when uh, Paul Grenowagen talked about blueprint, uh, it was a new program at that time for the Ontario marketplace. Um, since then, we've uh, We've done a number of trials across North America. What we generally see is about a 5% uh, improvement in conception rate when we when we do this. So we do get more cows bred when we go on the Blueprint program. We're also seeing uh, this is through trial data, peer-reviewed trial data, is about 25 to 30 pounds heavier calves at weaning. And that's just through better calf health and getting those calves in, in, in tighter groups and getting uh, getting uh, a better health through those calves. So that's that's kind of what we've seen so far on the blueprint side of things. And uh, the other thing we've done is uh, is some trials on, on the garlic side of things. So at the same time, we, we launched uh, our, our blueprint with garlic in it. Um, garlic is used as, a, as, a, as an agent to control flies. Um, so the flies don't don't really love the smell of garlic. So the, uh, the, the cattle, they sweat it out over time. And uh, the cattle, are, are the, the flies are repelled from the, from the cattle because of that, that uh, garlic smell. So what we did is we did a trial out in Saskatchewan a few years ago on this one as well. Saw a 50% reduction in, in flies, and that was just on a group of cattle that was split uh, fence line, and uh, one group on, on the garlic and one group off. And then we did fly counts with uh, with cameras in order to, in order to look at the uh, the number of flies. So advantage of fewer flies, of course, we're going to have less bunching. We're going to have uh, cattle spread out more, more, more hours eating, and uh, we're going to get we're, that that's going to contribute to better gains as well. What we've got on here today, and in, uh, in special in your packages, you'll see uh, that there is a special on our Blueprint program. Uh, $2 off uh, a bag of mineral is what, what we've got going on today. So if you've got any questions on the Blueprint side of things, uh, we, we talked about it at length a couple years ago, so we won't spend too much time on it here today. But uh, to feel free to talk to either Doug or myself or any of the Master Feeds group. We can uh, answer any questions on the Blueprint side. So with that, what, uh, what we want to talk, uh, what I want to do is introduce John Albro. He's going to talk about these blocks, and we'll let him take it from there. Okay. Thank you, Adam, and uh, appreciate it. I suppose everybody that still has their orange bag, I think there's a few of you I see up there. We have this Crystalix pamphlet. Mine's gotten wet just because of the rain today. But uh, this is a really good little pamphlet to look at that kind of helps tell the story that I'm going to tell today. Uh, Crystalix is uh, a product that's been sold in Canada by Master Feeds here in Ontario for about 30 years. And we refer to it as a block, even though it comes in a barrel or a tub or whatever you want to call it. And this product here is, uh, it's not really what I'd call a true Crystalix product, but it has Crystalix in it. And I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. But, but Crystalix is what we call a low moisture molasses block. We manufacture it by taking raw molasses and we dehydrate it and we add a vitamin and mineral premix back to it. And we have a lot of different formulas. And it's very palatable. Cattle like it. It's very hard. It's very nutrient dense. It's only about two percent moisture, two to five percent moisture, and so uh, it's very predictably consumed. Cattle consume our protein supplements around half to three quarters of a pound. Our mineral supplements around a quarter of a pound, and has a lot of positive feeding characteristics for for the producer for for us that are feeding livestock. Uh, Beans, it, it does get consumed very consistently. It's a good delivery system for all of our nutrients, other, you know, not only protein, but vitamins and minerals as well. High percentage of the herd will eat them. Plus it's got, uh, it's very weatherable. I mean, water will stand right on top of it. It's what we call waste proof, waterproof, and, and weatherproof. And really the ultimate in a weatherized type supplement, especially from the mineral standpoint. So it has a lot of uh, practicality. It's easy to use. You don't have to hand feed it every day. You cut down on a lot of labor and and uh, those issues associated with, with with feeding supplements. So probably the main job description that we would uh, give to Crystalix would be, especially for our protein type products, we can break it down into protein and mineral products, and then then some other specialty or a product we would use around calving, breeding, that kind of stuff that are higher fortified, and a blueprint line that Reed will talk about as well, but. The protein products are really designed to enhance our forages, especially low quality forages, because this grass right here is probably as good as it ever gets, all right, as far as quality, as far as protein level and, and uh, sugar level and, and nutrients. But as it matures through the season and, and, uh, and gets more mature, 
and starts to dry out in the summer, it's going to lose protein content, it's going to be higher in fiber, it's going to be less digestible. Those forages for a ruminant animal like a cow need a little bit of protein to help better digest that, that, that hay to feed those microbes in the rumen. And so a little protein supplement that can be delivered in crystallix out here grazing or feeding in a hay situation will help break down that forage. You can get about another 10 to 15% better forage utilization and that gives you about another 20% uh, more energy available out of that forage that really is all about keeping that cow in good condition. So that's kind of the main application. This time of the year people said, well, what kind of crystallix product would you really recommend it now? And it would be one of these mineral products because we need to be feeding a mineral. And in the wet weather like this, some of our crystal X products like mineral licks or crystal phosphate, or we do have one with garlic fly control in it. It's called mineral X GFC. That would be, this would be a good time of the year to use that because, you know, from a weatherability standpoint, consistent intake and, and, uh, you know, cattle are going to consume it readily. So that, that works really, really well. Um, like I said, we've got some of these other products that we've got a horse product or a sheep product and uh, some, some breed up and blueprint products. But I want to mention a little bit this, this little gizmo over here, this guy. This is some of the latest technology that we have in the Crystallix family. Um, it has Crystallix in it, but the name of the product is called Crystal Blocks, all right? So this is what we call a compressed low moisture block because this outer portion right here, this lighter colored yellow, that's actually dried distiller's grains that we compress into a container and make. We actually market another product called a compressed block under some other brands, not with, with Crystallix, that basically are all compressed distillers. They sell for a lot less money than Crystallix does, but they're really designed to provide some nutrients as a protein supplement, but the intake is very inconsistent. You know, if they, we might see cattle eat as little as a pound, and we might see them eat as much as six pounds per head per day. It's a little bit unpredictable and so what we decided to do is we we wanted to to utilize the economical part of that because it's those compressed blocks don't cost a lot of money they're relatively cheap to make and we decided all right let's figure out a way to inject crystallix in there and get that intake a little bit more uniform and so we came up with a dye that when we compress the distillers into the container actually leaves a cavity that's shaped like a star there's five fingers that are inside that, leave a star-shaped cavity, we come back and fill that with crystallix. And so when cattle consume this, they have to lick the top of that crystallix off and they really can't take big bites out of the distillers. Um, that'll, that'll be more like a star shape as they get that very top portion off. And it keeps the cattle from uh, over consuming or it keeps their intake more around a pound. And we, we've seen it as low as a half a pound, we've seen it as high as two pounds but we actually formulate this for about a pound and a quarter uh, per, per head per day. So you have a higher nutrient payload virtually at the same cost as what you'd have with just about any other crystal program. And so where that would apply would be not to replace the existing programs that we have that work really well to keep cattle in good condition that are already in good condition. But if you got some thinner cows or some really poor quality feed or some younger animals that maybe need a little bit more nutrient payload, uh, maybe they're breeding animals or maybe there's there's some animals that you want to put a little bit more condition on or shine on That's where this really applies really well, and it's very economically priced so Works uh, it can work well as a protein supplement for any animal But it's really kind of designed for those that you want to get a little bit more into it. and so we're excited about it This is uh, the first year we've had it in Canada last year was our first year in the US with it And we had a lot of success. We sold an awful lot of it and people really liked it and um some people use this and Crystallix in their programs, just depending on what kind of forages they were on or what group of animals. Uh, had some had some farms and ranches that, that actually used both kinds. So, works really well, and um, I'll let Reed talk more about our Blueprint version. Uh, Adam had talked about Blueprint, and Blueprint is more of a nutritional program that uh, is more about the source of trace minerals than it is about a certain mineral product itself. And so Blueprint is that, that nutritional program or package is available in Crystallix, it's available in, in Loose Minerals, and will be in this product eventually. So, Reed? Yes, thanks guys. Uh, yeah, a couple of the products that we're going to have in the Blueprint line as far as Crystallix will be 20% uh, all natural, which fits into a lot of different programs. Um, also, uh, we have a 30% protein, which would work really good in stocks, where you're going to need a little more protein boost for them. And then also in the 6% FOSS, there's a blueprint version, which would work out really well in this kind of an area. 
So then we look at what is Blueprint. Blueprint is organic trace mineral. Um, so in, I'm going to do it in layman's terms. If you look at the copper mines in Utah, they extract rock, which is a high copper content in the rock. They put it in a mineral program, same as your loose minerals and the tubs. And what Alltech has done, instead of doing it in a mine form, they do it in an organic form, an organic trace mineral, which copper, manganese, zinc, etc., are in the grass growing naturally. So they extract that, mimic nature, and the animal absorbs the vitamins a lot better. So we get better absorption levels, we're going to get better fertility, we're going to get better conception rates, etc., on that. And that's why I think it works so well, is if we don't. Um, need as much and we can get more out of it. More mimicking nature is what Blueprint and Organic Trace Minerals is all about. So also we're going to have this in the Blueprint version too. It should be licensed here pretty quick. We're at 11 months I think with our CFIA. It takes that long to get things done. But uh, So there's different options that are out there. Um, the minerals, yeah, like Adam was saying, we have the garlic control, or John had mentioned too, works really well. Um, the animals, it just deters the flies from landing. We've had guys say, well, it works about 80% better, like especially on a bull where the backs get really tangled up with flies. Um, it's a deterrent, it's not chemical, it's an all natural thing. Had somebody say, well, if they're eating garlic, does it season the steak when you butcher? Well, it's not quite that way. They actually just set, sweat it out. So, yeah, with that, guys, do you have any questions? You young kids are just waiting to ask a question. Aren't you? <laughs> How much is one of the blocks? Blocks vary, so it depends on the proteins, um, and also you look at it as a cost per head per day basis. On a mineral, you're going to be very close to what your loose minerals are, and the blocks work really good in the mineral because, uh, you know, in my area in Alberta, we get a lot of wind, we get a lot of rain, snow, etc. So you just throw the block out. You don't have to have a feed or a forum exactly, and you just zero waste you don't get no loot loose mineral blowing around and stuff etc so cost wise you look at a cost per head per day it's very similar to loose minerals um, they range it all depends on the amount of protein and what added features are in the block so prices are what are they at them anywhere from that was 138 yeah so they go up from 138 to 230 so it all depends what you're buying so for what options are in there in the actual block so good question though. How long will it Well you do it if you're if you take it at a quarter pound per head per day, so each animal you have on the block, they eat a quarter pound per head per day, which is about hundred grams, so a quarter of a pound. And you can do the math out on that if you got it on twenty cows and a quarter pound per head per day, that's what their average day is gonna use. And then the more blocks you we recommend about twenty-five cattle per block on these big blocks. So with blueprint Correct. So both work equally well. Um, what we've seen with the block basically, and that's actually a very good question, with being molasses based, it's what I call a kid in a candy store effect. We've, we've seen trials in universities that come back, we get 40% more cattle eating the molasses type mineral versus loose mineral. Uh, because it's rock, not all cattle like to eat rock, um, neither would we. So being in a molasses base like that, we seem to get more, and I think that helps, you know, in, in getting more averages to the block. So, yeah, very good question. Actually. But either work, both loose mineral and this both work, and a lot of it. Why we say, well, why did we do this a long time ago? Vitamins used to be a lot cheaper, and we all know vitamins went up, and we're all paying for feed. You know, that price has been done. Um, now they're very equal on that end. And Blueprint, since we have such a uh, way better absorption level, I think we are we can get more done. We've had herds as high as 97% conception rates consistently and that. You know, a lot of things have to happen right in that weather and everything else too. But uh, that's where it helps pay back to have a nutrition system year round. So. Anything else, guys? Well, the last wagon. The last wagon. The last. We must, we must answer all the questions. Very good. Thank you guys very much.